Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Butties Dry Shampoo which is a really famous hair product and I'm going to give you all the details you need to know about this product before you decide whether to purchase it or not. So um, before I begin please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and let's get started. The first question is what are dry shampoos? Dry shampoos are products that are meant to freshen up your hair in between washes. So if you are someone who has a really oily scalp and you you do not like to wash your hair frequently then this would be the perfect product for you they are great for using on the go and are usually available in either powder or aerosol spray forms but ease dry shampoo is uh, in the form of an aerosol spray and it comes in a can like this so what you can do is you can take this directly and spray it on your uh, roots so that the greasiness and oiliness of your scalp is absorbed by this product so usually there is some sort of a fragrance added so that when you're spraying uh, the dry shampoo on your hair it uh, not only looks fresh but also smells really good so uh, the one I have has a floral uh, scent which is really strong when you apply it but after some time it mellows down but it's still there so my hair type is really oily at the roots but drier at the ends now uh, here I haven't washed my hair for three days so you can see that the ends are still fresh and smooth while the roots are getting a little oily so if I uh, spray my hair with uh, dry shampoo right now then I can go on without washing my hair for uh, two more days maybe uh, this is especially useful if you uh, like to heat style your hair and get blow dries or straightening done so that you can preserve your style for a few more days without uh, the roots looking really oily another thing is for uh, dry hair types uh, if you uh, frequently wash your hair then there's a chance that, that your hair might get even more dry so at this point of time uh, dry shampoos come in really handy Coming to Butty's dry shampoo, I ordered this product of Amazon. This is the larger can and there's a smaller one too if you would like to uh, try out the product and see if it's good for you before you invest in a larger size. Uh, I have been using this product for 4 to 5 months now and hence I can give you a thorough review of what and what not to look for and what I don't like or like about this product. First of all, I would like to start with how to use this product. So, uh, in the uh, instructions it says to shake the product well and to spray it around 30 cm or 12 inches away from your roots. So, uh, that way you will be evenly distributing the product throughout your scalp and at the same time uh, there won't be an accumulation of product which uh, is not the look you are going for. Uh, so, I will show you how to use this product. So, uh, I will take the can and then... So as you can see I spritzed my hair with this product and already there is uh, more volume to it. Uh, after you apply the product you want to uh, take your fingers and massage the product in. Uh, what I like to do is I love spraying this product on my hair before I go to bed so that uh, I, I just lightly massage my uh, roots and then I take a claw clip and make a top knot so that in the morning when I wake up the product has already worked overnight and I have really fresh and voluminous hair. Uh, now coming to dry shampoos you might want to know what uh, to look for when you are shopping for one. So the first point would be texture. So when you are shopping for a dry shampoo, you want to make sure that the product really gets in there and uh, absorbs all the oil present so that uh, you get this nice volume at the roots and at the same time you might want to uh, notice that uh, none of the product accumulates and makes your hair sticky. So ideally a pro the product should uh, do its job and disappear.
the next thing i want to talk about is the smell of this product so uh, this variant of dry shampoo is called floral and uh, flirty blush so when you are applying the product you can feel a really strong floral fragrance which might be a little uh, too overpowering sometimes but i'd suggest to use it sparingly so that the smell doesn't get to you and the next thing is uh, does the smell stay so i'd say uh, it does subside after a while but uh, there is still a really nice fresh Uh, smell which is uh, kind of nice on the hair especially when you're getting volume so the next point is does the smell stay so when you are applying it as i told you the smell is really strong but um, after a while it reduces and it's not really there that much but at the same time there's still this fresh floral fragrance at your roots which is really nice So yeah the smell is a good one and if you are freshening up uh, freshening up your hair you might want that nice smell to stay after you uh, like apply this product so that your hair smells good as well as looks good before you decide to wash your hair again and uh, now let's talk about the staying power i'd say the staying power of this product really depends upon the temperature and humidity and the environment conditions of the place where you are staying i have noticed that in summers uh, it doesn't stay for more than a day but when you apply this in winters then it can stay easily for 2 to 3 days before you need to wash your hair so while shopping for dry shampoos one thing you want to look out for is that it does not leave a white cast on your scalp so if that happens uh, at times you might uh, see little flakes all over your scalp which might end up looking like dandruff uh, so one way to avoid this is to buy uh, dry shampoos which have a tint added to them so there is a butties variant for brunette hair type so what happens is if you use that then the dry shampoo is is brownish in color and it will uh, blend in with your roots without uh, leaving that little white flakes which you see in normal dry shampoos now uh, the one which i purchased that is uh, white in color so if you are too heavy handed with uh, this then you might end up seeing white flakes all over your scalp so uh, to avoid this you need to use this really sparingly and uh, rub it well in uh, in your roots so that it doesn't leave that white cast so where can you find your dry shampoo i got mine on amazon but uh, there are a lot of varieties and uh, on nika i could see that there were six or seven types of butties dry shampoos available in various fruity fragrances and there was also this voluminizing dry shampoo which i would love to try after i finish this so uh, the smaller cans retail for around uh, 299 each for 50 ml while the larger ones like these uh, retail for 650 rupees so this is uh, 200 ml um this one is a lot more economical but uh, if you are new to it then i would suggest going for the smaller product because you can see uh, if it suits your hair type or not as i have noticed a lot of times there there is a great discount on these products so if you are planning to buy one make sure to look out for them uh, i got this product on a huge offer i think so yeah keep looking for all the discounts you can get and i i have explained everything i knew about this product and if you are planning to buy one and you have more questions then please leave them down in the comments uh, and please leave a like and if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel so yeah bye